where it's kind of be okay. Really, I'm uh, pretty excited about it in some ways, just because I don't know that I would have been able to take that same hit a couple years ago. Tony Romo seems to be in pretty good spirits after he took a hit last night during the preseason game with the Seahawks, a hit that effectively took him out of the game, third play. An x-ray wasn't needed, and the Cowboys were determined to today. They would try to find out if he needs an MRI. We haven't heard a report back. He suffered many back injuries during his career and underwent surgery in 2013. Last season, he broke his collarbone, remember, a couple of times, had to have surgery in March. Yeah, I think we all remember that. So here to talk about the injuries and also the game, Dr. John Michaels, we appreciate you coming in tonight. Thank you for having me. All right, so I want to make sure I get all this right, because you've got a really great perspective. Former NFL player, Super Bowl champ with the Green Bay Packers, then injuries forced you to leave the game. Now your doctor and his spine uh, injuries and pain. So you can look at this from all things Tony Romo and football on the doctor side. So let's start with what you thought when you saw the hit. You know what? It was a horrific looking injury when he went down, seeing him hold his back. Yeah. When Cliff Averill came over the top of him, he got bent over in an accordion style fashion and those kind of injuries can be really devastating for the spinal cord. So when I saw him not moving on the ground, I thought something devastating had happened. I think a lot of people did. We all kind of saw the pain and went, <gasps> I mean, Jerry Jones talked about last night that he needed to go to the hospital to have his heart, heart checked. Heart issues, exactly. Yes, to make his sure that, down. So let's say that you're Romo's doctor. What do you say, knowing that he has had back issues before, back surgery, collarbone issues, and all these other injuries? If you're his doctor, what do you say to him? So not his team doctor, but his Just doctor. Just his personal doctor. You know, this is a tricky question because as a personal doctor, you're not requiring your patients to do the things that Tony Romo's required to do. Mm. He's paid millions of dollars a year to go out there and perform. And no player in the National Football League is playing without aches and pains. So as his personal physician, of course I'm going to tell him to rest and recover from this injury. But as his team physician, that's a whole different story. You're trying to find the way to get him back on the field and able to perform throughout this season. So do you think that that's why, I guess for sort of crowd control perspective, we're seeing such and hearing such positive things from the Cowboys and from Romo and Jerry Jones that, okay, we're gonna keep going forward, it's all great. There are definitely stories that you don't wanna get out there, and especially if it's your starting quarterback being injured. He did go have an MRI today. We don't have the results of that back yet, and if somebody does, we right. don't have those results. And they're gonna take every precaution that they can to make sure that Tony heals from this injury and is able to be the starting quarterback week one. All right, so now go back to being a player, and when you were a player and on the field, putting yourself in Romo's position, what do you do? Like you, you said, everybody's playing with aches and pains. Do you just keep pushing forward and, and hope that it's gonna be okay? Well, you saw Tony's instinct last night. He wanted to get back on the field. He right. was going to the coaches and saying, hey, I'm fine, let me go play, because that is our instinct. Yeah. And I played with a guy in Green Bay, Brett Favre, who never missed a game, right. because he got his opportunity when Don Mikowski got injured, and then right. Brett started that 300 game That's streak. how it works. Somebody gets hurt and the other person jumps in that's and makes it. a name. And so Tony knows that, that there's a young quarterback that's there who is being groomed to take his sure. job. He doesn't want that to happen any sooner than it needs to. So what does Romo, what do the Cowboys say to the people who say, to the critics, who, who say that Romo just doesn't have the stamina, never did have the stamina and can't keep going forward? You know, I think that's foolishness. Tony Romo is a tough athlete. He's played through a lot of pain and he's led the, the Cowboys to a lot of victories as their starting quarterback. You know, these injuries are freak things that happen. This is the NFL. It is a tough physical game. Guys are going to get hurt playing this game. Tony's just had a few bad strings of luck. The collarbone issue, yeah. he had the back injury in 2014 and in 2013. But I think Tony Romo still has a lot of game in him. You've seen him as he's played in the preseason when he was healthy, right. that he was very productive out there. And this Cowboys team needs him to be their leader throughout this season. Okay, so here's your toughest question. Cowboys or Packers? Ooh. Now that you're here in Dallas. You know, you, you have to love Big D, <laughs> but you know what? I, I bleed green and gold. Yeah. I, I'm going to be a Packer through and through, and, and that's the team that selected me to play in the NFL. And there's something special about that place. When Green Bay is not playing Dallas, I'll root for the Cowboys. Okay. But otherwise, I have to stay true to my Packers. Well, and to let everybody know kind of a, a side story here, I was working in Gray, Green Bay in 96 when you were there and followed the Packers to the Super Bowl, and it was a great time to be there. It was a great experience all those years ago. 20 years ago this season. I know. Unbelievable. And here we are in Dallas. Here we are. Dr. Michaels, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you for having me. Appreciate your perspective. Thanks.